Ever pondered the intricacies of mini-batch k-means in machine learning? Well, fear not, for today we delve into this fascinating concept, breaking it down into bite-sized, easily digestible pieces. Scene script. Picture a bustling city street filled with a multitude of people all moving in different directions. Now imagine trying to categorize these people into groups based on shared characteristics. This is what k-means clustering in machine learning does. It groups similar data points together, but when handling a large amount of data, the traditional k-means algorithm can be computationally expensive and time-consuming. This is where mini-batch k-means enters the scene. Mini-batch k-means is a variation of the k-means algorithm that uses small random batches of data of a fixed size, so it can reduce the computation time while still providing robust results. It's like having a small focused team working diligently instead of a large, unwieldy group. The process begins with the selection of initial centroids, just like in the standard k-means. But instead of calculating the distance of each point from these centroids, mini-batch k-means takes a random sample. The algorithm then updates the centroids based on this sample, and the process repeats until the algorithm converges or meets a defined stopping criteria. The beauty of mini-batch k-means lies in its versatility. It performs well with large data sets and in high-dimensional space, making it a popular choice in the world of machine learning. But as with all things, there are trade-offs. While mini-batch k-means reduces computational time and can work with large data sets, it may not provide as exact results as the standard k-means. So, to recap, mini-batch k-means is a variant of the k-means algorithm that uses small, random batches of data to reduce computational time. It's an efficient way to group large amounts of data, particularly in high-dimensional space. But remember, it may not provide the same level of exactness as its traditional counterpart. In the world of machine learning, where time and computational power are often key, mini-batch k-means offers a compelling solution. But, as always, the choice of algorithm depends on the specific task and constraints at hand. So, whether you're categorizing city-goers or analyzing large data sets, keep mini-batch k-means in your toolkit. It's a handy tool for any data scientist's arsenal.